you know, I can imagine the mood in the dressing room after that is one of real disappointment, battling for that long and then going behind with such a scrappy goal. No, no, it's hard to take. I mean, you know, you're hoping to win the game at the start. Then I think when you're down to 10 men, you probably think, well, hopefully you can, can get a goal. But if not, you'll take a point. And then to, to concede the goal in the way we did with a with an own goal and a, a sort of double deflection, it's it just so, unfortunately it sums up the way things are going and it's very disappointing and you know the, there's not a lot I can say just really how, how very disappointed we all are. And the way you started that game against the side coming in to this one full of confidence, seven wins in eight for them and the way we started that game it appeared that perhaps we could we could nick a goal up until Ricky's sending off. Well I thought we were we were passing the ball well, we were keeping possession well, they weren't really a threat. Uh, I felt it was only a matter of time before we eventually got the goal, but um, unfortunately sending off does change the game, the whole dynamic of the game. And it, 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 was, a, it was a key part of the game. How have you viewed that, that sending off? Have you had a chance to speak to the referee on that one? There's no point speaking to officials. If, you, if they send a player off, then, then uh, they feel they've made the right decision. Um, so there's no no point in in, in arguing with that, um, but but it, it's a it's a big big factor in the game. We always talk about when we've lost at home, having a game come so soon. Is it a welcome a welcome match for you? But away from home, especially a chance to to improve on that away form that we've been picking up on recently. Look, I think uh, you, you you know. I, I, it's very hard to get me, me thoughts around to that game because obviously, well, you know, with with the with the question that I've just had before I've done this interview, then obviously um, there's a lot of th other things on my mind at the moment before before I get to that game. Looking at your new signing, Mark Harris, it was a difficult game for the young striker to come into, but at times he looked like he could perhaps deliver and showed signs of uh, of being a goal for it. Look, I think anybody you bring in, it's um, you know you, you're always hoping they can do well. Um, he's got he's got ability. Um, you're not going to get any player's not going to be able to come into a club at this at this level and be a be um, you know Ronaldo or a Messi. You're not uh, you're bringing in lads who are learning the game, who are at a bigger club, who hopefully hopefully can make a career at that level, but they're still learning the game. So you can't expect. Uh, you can't put them under too much pressure. But he worked hard. He showed that he knows what he's doing up there. Um, it would have been much better if we could have been bringing him on where we were leading and the game was opening up and he'd have got a bit of space. Um, but unfortunately, he's battling against two defenders and, and it's very difficult when you're up there on your... But that's the sort of attitude you're looking for in players coming in and from your squad, oh. original squad as well, the battling, the, the never, side, never say die look, attitude. Look, I have no problem with the way the players went about the game today, um, no problem with their attitude or the way they worked, I felt they worked hard. I think we had a few, we brought a few players into the club um, and their attitude is good. So I, I, I've got no, you know, no criticism of, of the players today.